hello my lovelies a blessed to you all and welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by i really appreciate you and if today is your very first time coming across this amazing channel you are most welcome my name is happiness and don't bother okay as time goes on you'll get to know all we do here on this channel and to you my returning subscribers you guys are just so so sweet thank you for all the support you do for the channel i don't take you all for granted you guys rock my world as you can see today um we have a very interesting video to shoot to make with you guys and of course as you can see i have an august visitor here with us so yeah some of you may not have seen him before some of you may have but for the benefit of those who haven't seen him before may i give this gentleman the opportunity to introduce himself to you guys over to you sir thank you very much i sincerely appreciate this privilege and to you that stop by on our channel i want to say god bless you and you are very well appreciated. I am Andrew Fineboy by name. The only fine boy. <laughs> <laughs> fine shots on Instagram. That is my handle. And yeah, sitting beside me is my pretty exclusive mm -hmm. and equisite beautiful wow. wife. I'm blushing. Abilicious. <laughs> Thank you so much um so to you all um you'll be wondering okay you may have known what this video is all about um through the title yeah so um i was watching osa girls tv and she did um, um gender prediction with her husband and yeah this is something is something we i used to know growing up but i didn't know i could find these things on the internet thank you so much nosa girl you gave me reasons to go do my research and i found that yes such things exist so today i thought i thought it wise to do this video with my husband so we're going to be doing the gender prediction using the old wife still so without wasting much of your time we're going to dive into this video so hobby will be reading the questions while I affirm okay so without further ado let's dive into this video okay okay thank you please stay to the end you're gonna enjoy this because even me too looking at the question I'm beginning to enjoy what this video is gonna look like do you have pregnancy acne or other types of skin blemishes one old wife still claims girls will steal your beauty if your skin is glowing and flawless get ready for your boy okay so i don't have pregnancy acne or blemishes although i have um some rashes on my face but that is not as a result of the pregnancy it is something i've been dealing with for quite a long time now i haven't um, had the courage to see a dermatologist for it but apart from that i do not have as you can see i'm glowing yeah forget the makeup yeah i don't have pimples i don't have blemishes apart from those tiny rashes so no i don't so what does old wife still say okay so if you are flawless get ready for a boy so, so if i'm flawless is a boy okay hey make sure you belong to one group in our shots there either team boy or team girl yeah so team boy has just scored one point okay. okay so second question have you noticed a change in your body temperature if you are feeling cold or icy it's a boy hot or sweaty it's a girl i'm always hot and sweaty hot and sweaty yeah i'm always hot and sweaty like you mean before the pregnancy or with the pregnancy now. with the pregnancy okay with the pregnancy i'm always okay born. i'm not arguing this girl let's go for girl okay yay that's one one down okay question number three mm -hmm. typically what is baby's up rates an old wife's tale claims that slower heart rates under 140 pbm means boy while heart rates over 
140 means girl. So baby's heart rate has always been between 140 and 145. Hmm. Yeah. It's always been one for, between 140 and 145. Okay. So what so does that mean? That means it's a girl we're setting. Okay. Team girl. Question number four. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed any significant cravings? If you are craving sweet things, you are having a girl. If you are craving salty or sour food, it's a ball. I'm usually I'm usually a sweet person, okay? okay. <laughs> but like yeah, but I've not been craving for sour things, and um, but and I also haven't been craving for salty things. I wouldn't know. But like recently, this young man here always complains the food is salty, and when I taste it, it's not salty. So I don't know. It, so that simply means that you are craving for salty things because I tell you, hey, the food of recent is out of control. Salty, salty, salty. But when I and she won't taste it salty, so she's already salty. So, so this is not the wife I know and Tim Boy is getting this point. Two two. Two two. Okay. So question number five. Have you dealt with morning sicknesses? An old wife tale states that sicknesses means it's a girl. If not, then lucky you. I've not been having morning sicknesses. No. I've not been having morning sicknesses. I can tell all through this pregnancy, I've just thrown up twice. Yeah, I've not, I've not had uh, morning sicknesses like headaches, all those normal pregnancy morning sicknesses. I've not had it. The next question. We all know that sympathy pains are a real thing. If your husband also put on some baby weight, an old wife still says it's a girl. So that's for you. Have you have you added some weight lately? I want to know because it's like I have been on control food even before the pregnancy started. So yeah. I think this question, this question is a kind of, um, this question, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a partial when it comes to him because this man doesn't take breakfast nor lunch, okay? For the past two years, he's been on a spiritual fast. Like the only thing he takes is dinner and sometimes he doesn't even take the dinner, okay? So... It's not going to, <clears throat> sorry, it's not going to apply. It's not going to apply when it comes to that because how can someone gain weight when you don't eat? So I don't think that's, but if he was not fasting, we would have been able to tell, but this is not going to work for him regardless. Okay. So yeah. I'm not going to take this one anyway. I don't think it's up to two years, but. No, it's over two, I can't, I'm, I should okay. be the one to tell, it's over anyway, two years. So. Anyway, let's take the next question mm -hmm. because that's, I will not know about weight or no weight. Right. Have you experienced swollen legs or ankles? Rumor has it that it's a boy. No, I haven't. I've never yeah. had swollen legs nor ankles. All, all my pregnancies, yeah. all even the previous two pregnancies, have not had any swollen legs or ankles. That's, Body is proportional, okay? That's true, because the cry will always have this, come and massage my leg, come and <laughs> massage my leg. So if the leg is swollen, I won't be massaging, you know? Yes. I wish, but I don't no, wish doesn't. anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't wish anyway, so, so it's a girl. a girl. So next question: If you have experienced lots of clumsiness during your pregnancy, it's a boy. If you have been graceful, <laughs> expect a baby girl. Divine, where are you? <laughs> Divine is still in school. She should be the one to answer this question. You guys. My middle name should be changed from fine boy to clumsy. Like, I've really been clumsy in this. In fact, all my pregnancies, this is the only pregnancy that I have felt 
this height of clumsiness like you guys it is out of this world like when I, sometimes I even ask myself, where do I even get the strength to wake up 5.30 a.m. to get my kids ready for school? Like, but when I take them to school and come back, I just want to be there, sleep or just sit. I don't want to do anything. You know, like the only time my energy comes back is towards the evening. And then I manage to do some things that I have missed in the day. And you know, like, have, have you been, like, imagine my four-year-old daughter noticing how clumsy I'd become and asked, mom why are you acting so clumsy you know it is it's something it's something else when your child a little girl of four years notices how clumsy you become and she asks you guys i've really been clumsy like the height of clumsiness is out of this world like you won't you won't you won't believe it it's a boy it's a boy if i'm clumsy it's a boy yeah Divine asked that question and me, I was shocked too. Mommy, why are you acting so clumsy? I was like, clumsy. <laughs> Next question. Have you experienced frequent headaches during your pregnancy? If so, you could be having a boy. No, I've not experienced headaches. You have not been experiencing headache. Why do you ask me to buy Tylenol. Yeah, actually, to get Tylenol because I feel pain. It's not like necessarily headache, okay? Mm. And the question says frequent headache. Okay. Once in a while, you, you can have headache, but they said frequent headache. I've, ne I've not been having headaches. Okay. Yeah. So it's a girl or boy. It's a girl. Next question. Um, what color is your pee? If your urine is bright yellow, it is a boy. Mm -hmm. If your urine is light or dull in color, it's a girl. My urine is usually bright yellow. Okay. Yeah, it's usually bright yellow. All right. So. But but you know, if if you're not hydrated, normally your urine will be dull. If you're not hydrated, even apart from pregnancy, it's bright yellow. Let's give it to boy. Yeah, but I'm just asking. Yeah. It's not like I'm I'm, but, pa I'm particular about a particular sex. No, I know, but the point is that, you know, when it comes to this period, everything is taken into cognizance, so it's bright here. It's bright yeah, here. My, but I'm just stating, when you're dehydrated, your urine can be dull. But no matter what. But yeah, my urine is usually bright here because I try as much as I can to stay hydrated. Okay. It's about one. Mm-hmm. How is your mood? If you are happy or mellow, expect a boy. If you are moody, it's a girl. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> happy or mellow? Happy or mellow? I'm usually, this pregnancy, most times I'm usually moody. Yeah, most times I'm usually moody, like, you know, like I'm usually moody, irritable, cranky. I don't know. I'm usually like that. Okay. This pregnancy. So it's a girl. Mm -hmm. Go team girl. Go team girl. Go team girl. Go team okay. girl. Go. I'm not. I'm not in support of any particular gender. But I'm just saying. Go team girl. Go team girl. Go okay. team girl. Let's take next question. Your face is changing, you know. Are you, <laughs> are you 14? Wait, first. I'm not 14, boy. I'm not 14, girl. Are you 14, boy? We have, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very beautiful. If you can check on fine shots, you will see my daughter giving me different poses. Uh -huh. We have a very beautiful daughter, and we have the grammarian, three year old. You get to hear him speak. He is our teacher in the house, and when he talks and you laugh, he said, that is not funny, that is not funny. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, we have good, better, best team boy and team girl. Mm -hmm. So, we won't support anyone. So, I am not for So, anyone. okay, if, if, if you, if, if... I'm not for anyone, <laughs> I'm just trying to yeah. go with old wife's theory really prediction. okay mm -hmm. 
predation. So don't try to modify it or team girl, it. go team girl. Yeah, I'm not for anyone. I'm anything. not blackmailing boys. So okay. Come on, go team girl. So let's go. <laughs> if this old fashioned gender test is to be believed, mm -hmm. a little boy will show interest in your pregnant belly mm -hmm. if you are having a girl. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't seem interested, you are having a girl. Yeah, um, this pregnancy will not really be going out because of COVID, right? Mm -hmm. But I've come in contact with few few kids, they and they are boys, and they don't run away from me. Okay. They don't run, run away from me. Have I come in contact so, with? Any so we're not, um, we have not, we have not come in contact with any girl. But the boys have come in contact with. Don't run away from me. So we will rule out that one. No, we are not ruling it out because the boys I have come in contact with. Don't they are supposed to. They are supposed to either like you or yeah, not like you, but no, they right. always like me. Okay, because they always like you. Mm -hmm. You say God. Okay. So, well. Next question: If your hair and nails are thin and brittle, a girl may be on a girl may be to be blamed. But if you have luscious looks and long nails you may soon have a baby boy in your hands so. okay so i've always had you can see my nails are not brittle they are really beautiful okay yeah and my hair is luscious but all my pregnancies i've usually had luscious hair you know so okay. yeah my hair i've got luscious hair and non brittle nails so it's a boy it's a boy okay Next question. Apparently, how your hands look can be an indicator of whether it's a boy or a girl. Dry hands means a boy, soft hands means a girl. Yeah, my hands have been dry and cracky. Boy, you know, no. Okay. My hands have been dry and cracky. Yeah, you guys, this pregnancy, I've really been suffering from that. Next question. You may see a line over your bump that extends to your pubic area. Mm -hmm. Don't fret. Mm -hmm. This new mark is called the linear nigra. Okay. And it usually fits after delivery. Mm -hmm. Old wife tells says if it extends from below the belly button down, mm -hmm. you may be having a girl. Mm -hmm. If it extends all the way from below your rib. Your rib cage down, mm -hmm. you may be having a bar. Yeah, so yeah, my my um what is that called again? Whatever that line, I don't know what it is called. Lena Grina. Uh -huh. Lena Negra. Okay, whatever. So mine starts from here mm -hmm. down. Okay, that means a bar. So my rib cage. So that means a bar. Okay. But of them are doing well, according to Macroni. They are doing well. <laughs> Mac 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 Mr. Macaroni, you see, they are doing well. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, next question. Don't forget to analyze which direction your pillow faces mm -hmm. and on which side you sleep. Mm -hmm. Not facing pillows and sleeping on your left side are said to be signs it's a boy mm -hmm. a pillow to be a pillow to the south and sleeping on your right mean girl okay so it's always been on my left yeah it's always been on my left like 90 to 95 percent of the time i'm always on the left okay so what? you're expecting a boy a boy okay team girl don't let these guys win all right this is the final question okay breathing first okay the very last question are you carrying i mm -hmm. if so you are having a girl mm -hmm. are you carrying low then it's a boy all the way so i think i'm i'm in between yeah Okay. This I think question, I'm in between. See. Okay. Let this me question. My table. This question is left for 
viewers you guys am i carrying high or no i think i'm in between whether you are carrying high or she's let carrying, me take this no. see i'm carrying see so okay. is this high you guys is this high or no i i think this is just in between all right we'll leave that question. so you guys no we will not leave it you see it i'm, I'm not carrying low no and, and i'm not carrying high look at it even when i put my hand in my pocket see so you guys what do you guys gonna, think am i carrying gonna, high or low let me know whether she's so, carrying high that question or is low. for you That's am i high question. or low it's for you so, so they you. said if it is high if it is high the question if it is said, high is what the question said if you are carrying high is you are having a girl if you are carrying low you are having a boy okay so you guys will leave it to answer that okay so that's the end of all the questions like you guys we tweeted all the questions that's the end of it so if you know you've watched to this point you guys you are so sweet thank you so much i really appreciate you please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also leave me your comments in the comment section and if the if and if this is your first time here, if you're new to this family, you are most welcome. Would love to have you as a part of this family. All you need to do is to smash on that red subscribe button. And when you do so, please do not forget to turn on your bell icon. That is the only way you get notified whenever we drop another video. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you. And I just want to take out this time to say as many of you that are believing god for such a gift as this this will be an opportunity for you to tap into the into into these blessings and because we have an apostle in our midst like you guys this man i hardly have time to sit down with him like this so this is an this is an opportunity for him to release that apostolic blessing if you are this if you are believing god for such a gift as this thank you very much and also you know bible says children are a heritage from god and for such a blessing like this mm -hmm. i can tell you it's a blessing mm -hmm. i mean when i have nothing doing i was talking with my client one day i said i'm either coming to do photography to get money or i stay at home to play with my kids or my, i mean my children i enjoy them don't mind me, I don't like calling them kids because we, we, we learn in our primary school back then in my country of origin that kids are offspring of goats. <laughs> oh so my goodness. I don't, I, don't call, I don't call children kids. Oh Lord. People will be saying, oh no, 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 no. It's Amer no, but they are my language. children. So long as they know that children is children, I call them children. I don't call them kids. Anyway. <laughs> oh, anyway. So if you are there and you watch us like you can see the glow you can see the smiles you can see the joy that is coming forth and this is our third child and we are super super happy and so excited and you want to tap into this blessing at this point i just want to just want us to pray father in heaven i thank you i give you all the glory i give you all the honor because this is an opportunity lord god king of glory for someone to tap into this blessing we ask lord god king of glory because it is written that we shall not cast our young and there shall be none barren in the land father i ask that whosoever that is believing god for the fruit of the womb i ask that by this time next year let there be a testimony Amen. in the mighty name of jesus Amen. and i release the anointing that in 90 days time you will shout for joy Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father, for I know testimonies will come out from this prayer because you have answered several times I make this prayer and sincerely I know you have answered. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen much for watching we really appreciate your time here with us and always remember if you can imagine it believe in it then you can achieve it until we come your way again stay safe and stay blessed and always know that we love you bye, bye.